Hey guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another reaction and review. And this is to the latest Mickey short, which is Carried Away. And uh, my best friend sent me a link to this video, uh, told me that this cartoon was out, and that it would be that it would become my, one of my my most favorite of the Mickey shorts completely. That this would become my most favorite. And um, I found the link. Uh, a few days ago, and I'm just now getting a chance to do the video. And I'm doing this video now. It is the morning of uh, July 30th, uh, just a few days after Brucey e. Taylor, the voice of many, passed away. And so this is the final short that she did as many. And so this is going to be bittersweet to watch, but. I wanted to do this as well in honor of her and and in honor of Wayne as well. So let's begin and see the cuteness. And on before I forget, the title of this is called "Carried Away," but it's kind of it's kind of ir sweetly ironic that the final short that she did was called "Carried Away." And now, I think that you know she was carried away on on Angel Wings, and now she and Wayne are, are together. Minnie is with Mickey again. So let's begin. Start the video. Three, two, one. Click. I 
loved it all. In fact, I, I, I'd love to hear it again. My pleasure, my treasure. <laughs> and this time, you won't have to save us, and you can finally listen. <laughs> she knew the whole time! <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely my favorite. This is definitely my favorite. This is definitely my favorite. Uh yeah, my best friend is totally right. This is definitely my favorite of the Mickey Shorts. Definitely. This is definitely it, yeah. Okay. This is very, very sweet. It is a very, very sweet cartoon, and definitely something unique. Um, because in it, it's just a cute little... It starts off, you know, just innocent enough with the mice wanting to... Ride it, just riding just in a, ro in, in a boat together. And Minnie reveals that she wrote Mickey a song. And honestly, I love... It, I love, again, Minnie's little demure attitude here, shy attitude. But the thing was, whenever Minnie made the mention, and also this was very cute too, but the moment, minute, minute that Minnie mentioned this song, I was actually kind of expecting her to belt out some sort of like a rock or metal thing. That's what I was I was kind of expecting. Um, but then I thought, now nah, that would kind of be what some people, other people would be expecting. And of course, I love Mickey's. I love Mickey's facial expressions in this cartoon. Like it's just absolutely hilarious. What is going on? And the explosion! <laughs> it goes behind him. <laughs> and honestly, Minnie was very, very cute in this. And like I said, this was very, very cute. And the song that Minnie sang was very very sweet. It was very, very adorable. And, you know, to be honest, I'm glad that I did not watch this short. I'm actually glad that I did not get a chance to watch the short before now because this is very... Hearing Minnie sing this, hearing Rusi sing this song as Minnie is... It's both heartwarming and it's also bittersweet at the same time because this was the final thing that Minnie that Rusi got to do as 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 Minnie. This is the final performance that she had and this is the fi last song that she sang. And I believe that Minnie I believe that Rusi and Wayne are together now. And uh, I posted a thing over on Facebook and I said that Minnie is with Mickey again. And I told my best friend that as soon as I found out that Rusi had passed away, I uh, sent my best friend a message and I told them about it. And um, uh, I told them the same thing. I said, Minnie is with Mickey now. They're together again. And so it's kind of bittersweet because it's like, I kind of, in my head, I look at this like, like here, Rusi, she she sang this song as Minnie about Mickey, about the man that she was married to, Wayne. And it's very bittersweet to think about that because you know it's it's just so beautiful that Wayne and Rusi that they were a couple in real life and they were Mickey and Minnie and I've read so many stories from people about their experience whenever they got to work with and meet and know Wayne and Rusi and just see the love that they shared and see how warm that they were around around people and for me you know Every time that I look at Mickey and Minnie, I will always see Wayne and Rusi. And hearing this song, it's kind of like Minnie's, it's kind of like Rusi's hello again to Wayne, in a way. 
and this is, it's very bittersweet, but it's also heartwarming at the same time. Story-wise, all kind of hijinks happen uh, as the mice are put into different perilous situations, and Mickey's trying to not uh, say anything to Minnie about it. He's trying to keep his mouth shut uh, in regards to it so that she can keep, so she can keep singing. And I have to admire the dude's persistence. I have to really admire and respect Mickey because, I mean, the guy is going through all this trouble just because he doesn't want to have to tell Minnie, um, we're kind of in danger, so could you wait? And so I really have to give the guy credit for this. You know, he doesn't want to break the mood. And I honest, and I do love the background scenery. Very, very gorgeous. And it, it, it's also hilarious because some of the lyrics correlated to different segments that were transpiring within the shorts, such as many making the mention about they'll never be apart, or about them not being apart, but yet the boat ended up splitting here at this point. And so it's very comical that the lyrics also had correlations to similar scenarios that the mice was going through throughout the whole thing. And I love this segment where Mickey was like trying to figure out what the heck was going on. Like, where did they end up? How did it happen? And he was just trying to rationalize everything in his head. I love it. It, it was honestly hilarious. And they end up back where they started. And here, I honestly love this. Minnie just pulls out an anchor and drops it, telling Mickey now he won't have to save them. And it, it's really cool. Like, I love how that Minnie knew everything that was going on. And she wasn't oblivious to it. I love how Minnie was witty enough. She knew everything that was going on. And she brought an anchor along... Just, or she brought, she dropped the anchor just so they wouldn't have to do any of that all over again. And I honest, and I love this. I really do. I love it that Minnie was completely in the know about what what was going on. And of course, a sweet little kiss between the mice at the end as well was just totally, totally sweet. And then Minnie begins to sing the song again to Mickey so that he can hear it this time around. And it was adorable that the cartoon ends, of course, with a little heart, Iris out. But I really love the song that Minnie sang for Mickey here because it's not too often. I mean, there hasn't been very many times where Minnie has actually, where, you know, Rusi got to sing kind of a song about Mickey. Uh, there's been a couple of, couple that I do recall, of course, there was... Uh, Minnie's version of Hey Mickey, which was on a Disney sports CD that came out uh, years ago. Uh, I remember they used to play it on Radio Disney on TV whenever Radio Disney had a TV station. And um, I remember that, and then there was uh, a few other CDs and cassettes, uh, Here's to the Ears of Love, I think it was, it was about Mickey and Minnie, uh, they didn't actually sing it, uh, and there was a little toy, uh, a little toy car for Christmas, where Mickey and Minnie, uh, sang a little, where Mickey and Minnie sang a little rendition of Baby It's Cold Outside together, uh, that, that, but as far as an original song, you know, this is one of just very few, uh, like, little songs that Minnie actually got to sing about Mickey, and it's just very cute, very sweet, and I love the lyrics to it, I love the lyrics, it's very sweet, it's very cute, it's just very, it's very warm-hearted, and I love all the stuff that are, it's, it's kind of hard to pay attention as well because of everything that is going on in the background, what the mice are going through, it's kind of hard to pay attention. And I noticed uh, some of the other characters that we saw, uh, Clara Cluck, Daisy, and Clarabelle. We also see the skeletons, which is unique, from, uh, the, ske from the skeleton dance. Uh, we see the skeletons from the, skeleton, from the old Disney black and white cartoon, uh, the skeleton dance, I believe. And then we see um, this elephant and this little... Uh, cheetah or tiger girl uh, from an older from another older Disney cartoon I don't remember what cartoon it was and then we also see the uh, we also see uh, the big bad wolf and the three 
the three the three how little wolves. <clears throat> and then we also see the tortoise and the hare from the old tortoise and the hare cartoon. And it's hilarious that it's hilarious that the tor that the hare is try is making rabbit ears behind the tortoise. But um yeah, this is very, very sweet. Uh, it, well, I mean, it's very, very cool to see these background characters here. But, again, this was definitely one of my favorite Mickey. This was definitely one of my most favorite of the Mickey shorts. This was very cute, very sweet. And it's just a very adorable little cartoon of the mice. Just, you know, uh, just a little romantic owl, owl, owl thing. And, of course, shenanigans transpire. But it's a very cute, very sweet cartoon. And, like I said, it's also bittersweet because to watch it now knowing that this was Rusi's last performance as Minnie. But, to be, <clears throat> but honestly, I cannot honestly think of a better way, of a better thing to exist that is Rusi's last performance. I can't. Um, I'm really glad that this was Rusi's last performance because it would be you know if there was like a regular short uh, where Minnie just had a brief speaking role or something <clears throat> it honestly wouldn't have the same impact it honestly wouldn't but because this cartoon focuses on Mickey and Minnie it's a romantic cartoon in the story Minnie has written a song for Mickey that she wants to sing to him and so she begins to sing it and at the end of it they kiss it's a very very sweet cartoon and before the 26th you wouldn't have thought anything about the cartoon you would have just thought it was another adorable mouse cartoon but like I said because this was the last performance of Rusi. I'm honestly glad that this is her last performance and that it's because this is something to go out with. This is something great to go out with. I would I'm glad that this was her last performance and that it wasn't just a minor cameo in a cartoon with a minor speaking role or something like that. I'm glad that her final role was something beautiful and sweet, romantic and heartfelt like this. I'm glad that this exists as the last performance that she had that she did. I mean what better way than this cartoon where she is singing about Mickey, the character that her husband voiced. What I, I, I honestly I can't think of a better way to say you know, I mean of a better performance to say that that was her last performance. It's better that she had this than just a simple one-off or a minor role. This was something significant, something meaningful. She got to sing about Mickey, the character that her husband voiced, and now they are together again. Minnie is with Mickey again. Minnie is with her Mickey. Both of the mice have wings now. And this is something beautiful to say that this was her final performance. And so I'm happy that this was. This serves, I mean, the first, I mean, think about it. The first, I mean, whenever Rusi started voicing Minnie back in 1986, she did totally Minnie. Mickey was featured in that, but he didn't have a speaking role. In, uh, and then in Runway Brain, uh, sorry, in, um, they did speak uh, in Who From Roger Rabbit in 88. 
and they got to voice Mickey and Minnie again in Mickey's 60th birthday celebration in 1988. And then Minnie was in Mickey's Christmas Carol, but she didn't have a voice. But they got Minnie, Rusi and Wayne got to voice Mickey and Minnie together in a cartoon dedicated just for the mice in Runaway Brain in 95. That was their first time getting to voice the mice together in a role in a cartoon that was dedicated just for them. And now, the last performance of Rusi was in a cartoon dedicated for the mice. So it kind of seems like it, like it's come full circle. Her and Wayne's first performance as Mickey and Minnie, respectively, together in a cartoon dedicated, I mean, was in a cartoon dedicated just for the mice in a sweet story and then Rusi's last performance was in a cartoon dedicated for the mice so I think it's beautiful honestly that that can be said but um, I really I really do love this cartoon <clears throat> I really do love this cartoon and it is a very it, 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 it's a cute cartoon it's a beautiful cartoon it's sweet and it's this definitely is my favorite of the Mickey shorts but uh, I definitely want to say major thanks to my best friend for sending me the link to this thank you so much I thank you so much I really really appreciate it and you were totally right I absolutely love this cartoon it's definitely de definitely my favorite so thank you so much and uh, thank you guys again as well hope you guys enjoyed and uh, finally I, I do want to say thank you to both to Wayne Alwyn and Trucy Taylor for, um, you know, for voicing the characters that were such a big part of my childhood growing up and young adulthood. I mean, they've been parts, those characters have been a part of me ever since I was little, ever since I was old enough to watch cartoons and remember anything. And so I grew up with Wayne and Rusi voicing voicing Mickey and Minnie that was my generation of the mice and so I want to say thank you both thank you to both Wayne and Rusi thank you so much for all the laughter joy and especially the love not not just what you brought to the world but what you brought to these characters what you brought to Mickey and Minnie thank you for the love that these characters that you put into these characters and that you gave to these characters and for the love that was expressed through these characters because it was just it was adorable it was sweet it was romantic it was just beautiful to see to see them perform as Mickey and Minnie in the shorts that they did together and even reading Disney comics um, heck for me even reading Disney fan fiction I still would hear Wayne and Rusi talk as the mice so again I want to say thank you to them as well for everything for all these years of joy laughter and love thank you so much no matter I mean you might be gone physically but you will always always be remembered you'll never be forgotten you will always be a part of these characters and you will always live on in these characters so thank you as well so and thank you to Disney as well uh, for doing these shorts and um, I hope Disney does continue with these shorts I know it's going to be quite some time now before we get another one of these Mickey shorts which is completely uh, uh, understandable um, but I do hope, hope that they do continue with these shorts but um, thank you again to Disney and everybody that worked on these cartoons and um, Thank you to Rusi for an incredible performance, final performance in this short. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody that, thank you to the writers, the animators, and everyone else that made this short a reality, that made this short 
be made that made the short Rusi's finals swan song. So thank you all so much. Thank you. And uh thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video that I do. Take care.